you're probably already familiar with the EBOM, the engineering bill of materials. This is the list of components and sub-assemblies created in your CAD system during product design. It defines the product structure as it was engineered. The EBOM is ideal for design, collaboration, and engineering accuracy. But here's the problem. It doesn't necessarily reflect how the product is actually made, assembled, or packaged. And that's where the manufacturing bomb, or M-bomb, comes into play. The M-bomb takes everything from the E-bomb and adds real-world elements required for physical production and delivery, including packaging, tooling, and documentation. For example, in the case of a skateboard, your E-bomb might include the deck, trucks, bearings, wheels, and hardware. The M-bomb takes these items and adds packaging like cardboard boxes and foam inserts tooling for both manufacturing and end-user maintenance, and documents like instruction sheets and warranty information. Most of these aren't typically part of the CAD model, but they're absolutely necessary for getting a complete, shippable product out the door.